Hi, you four. Uh, happy Monday morning. So this is your maths lesson. This is our, um, our next big idea, which is multiplication and division. And we're going to start off with exploring this book called Anno's Mysterious Multiplying Jar. Our TLP is, can I create a story map of Anno's magical multiplying jar? So you're going to um, listen to the story after this. And then you can look back at these two finished story maps if you need to, to for help and for inspiration. Um, but it's all about, in this story, drawing out the multiplication. Um, and you can see the number sentences underneath the pictures on the story maps these children have drawn. OK, well, I look forward to seeing your story maps later on. Hi, Year 4. Uh, this is Mrs Keeley and this is going to be our maths book to start off our multiplication and division topic. And it's called Anno's Mysterious Multiplying Jar. This is the story of one jar and what was inside it. In the jar there was water which became a vast great sea. In the sea was one island. On the island, there were two different countries. In each country, there were three mountains. On each mountain, there were four kingdoms, each one with a wall around it. In each walled kingdom, there were five villages. In each village, there were six houses. In each house, there were seven rooms. In each room, there were eight cupboards. In each cupboard, there were nine boxes and in each box, there were 10 jars. This is a story about just one jar and what was inside. Okay, so that is the story of Anno's mysterious multiplying jar. And um, what you are going to do now is you're going to um, see some other children's story maps and you're going to take inspiration from them and then have a go at drawing a story map of this story yourself. Okay, can't wait to see your work. Okay, year four. So uh, this is me drawing the story map so you can get some inspiration or you can use the ones on the last page of uh, the PowerPoint that I just showed you. Right, so the story starts with Anno's mysterious multiplying jar. Remember, this is not an art lesson. So don't spend too much drawing. Really, it's the number sentence that we want to um, draw out of it. So there's one jar. So we know that one times one is going to give us one. Right, so the next thing that happens in the story is out of the jar, there comes a C. Right, and it's just one C. So same number sentence again. One times one is going to be one. And then the next thing that happens in the story is we see a vast island. Can you see I'm just using easy symbols, I'm not spending a long time drawing. So same thing again, one times one. Okay, and the next thing that happens, from that vast island, there are two countries. Now guys, I am using the symbol of just two flags to show that I've got two countries on my one vast island. But that's up to you, you can use other simple symbols. So I need a number sentence now for these. So I've got two countries and one vast island. So two times one equals two. I'd like you to show me the inverse if you can as well. So one times two is also two, okay? If you can show me the inverse of that, that would be fantastic. So two divided by one equals two, and two divided by two equals one. Right, so the next thing in the story, on my 
my story map is going to be from those two countries. I've got my flags again. There were three mountains. So you can see I've just got snowy topped mountains like that. Hopefully you're getting the idea. So you can be thinking about what number sentence would this have? So I've got two countries and I've got three mountains. So I'm going to say two times three is going to equal six. And let's do the inverse, shall we? Three times two is going to equal six. And then let's do some division. Six divided by two is going to be three. And six divided by three is going to be two. Right, now, what's the next thing that happened in our story? So from those six mountains, There were one, two, three, four. There were four villages. Okay, now guys, I'm not going to carry on drawing this because I want you to go back and you can listen to the story again and you can carry on doing your story map. Okay, you can see where I'm going. For each of the mountains, there were four villages. So you need to do your number sentence and the inverse underneath that. Hopefully, if you're, if you're not too sure, have a go. and We can talk about it this afternoon. Otherwise, have a look uh, back earlier on in this presentation and you can see the other the children's work on that last slide. Okay, good luck. Looking forward to seeing your story maps.